Morning students, today we're going to be looking at page 7 6. Again, we're going to have two geometric shapes that we are going to have penetrate. Okay, so if we go to the instructions, it reads as follows The scale remains one to one. Okay, and then you have to redraw the top view and complete the front view. And then you have to construct the developments for both, both the primary and the secondary. And of course, you have to label both and show all necessary constructions. So, basically, the same instructions as we had before. Now, if we go to the diagram here, you can see that in the top view here that it is a hexagon, so it's a hexagonal prism, the main and the branch. If you look at it from the side profile, you can see here that it's a square, so that's a rectangular prism going in. So obviously the center of the rectangular prism is parallel with the horizontal plane, okay? And then the primary or the main is flat on the XY line, which means it's the base is parallel with the horizontal plane, and the center of the main is also parallel with the vertical plane behind it, which you can also see in the top view, that center and the back side is exactly parallel with the vertical plane here. Okay, so we're going to have to redraw this, okay, and find the line of penetration from the diagram. Now, if we go to the diagram here, you can see that I've already drawn most of the front view and some of the top view. And I'm going to start by simply taking this a center construction line going to the side, and then we're going to construct the profile here of the base of the prism. And the same here, so I constructed the center, I took it to the side, and in order to find this, all you have to do is select a point in the middle, anywhere along that center, then you draw two 45 degree lines through, okay, and then what I did was I set my compass to the same radius of 10, so then you can see that I took that radius of 10 there, okay, and then I took the same distance there. Of course, you can measure with a ruler. I find a vital compass is a bit more accurate. And then you draw 45 degree lines through those points, and that will give you the base. Alternatively, you can also use Pythagoras because they give us this side here, okay, okay, as 20. So you can use Pythagoras to find the radius of that point from the center to the corner. But it's up to you which method you want to use. And once you've got the view here by the front view, you can just take the corners down. Okay, and then you can just use the same measurements to find the profile here for the top view. So now in order to finish the top view, what I'm going to do is, we, I'm going to take the 15 millimeters from this side here, which is this point here on the top view, 15 to the side, I'm going to draw a construction line, and then we'll take the points from this auxiliary view, I'm just going to take it to the side in order to complete the top view here. Right, now that we have our top view complete, we can actually just take these penetration points here in the top view and take them up as well. And the base, you can just do the same as before. Right, now you can actually see that our front view and our top view is complete. There's a line of penetration and the two bases. Right, so now before I start with the main development, I'm first going to go to the top view and I'm going to number the points. So we're going to cut it open here on this point, point further away from the actual hole of penetration. Okay, so I'm just going to go here and call that A, B, C, D and so on. Right, but now understand that while D is going to have two penetration points, one at the top and one at the bottom, okay, these two points are actually not lined up with C or with E, okay? So uh, I'm going to call them 1 and 2. So 1 and 2 will actually fall in between D and E and in between C and D, okay? But, and there will only be one point there that's going to penetrate, okay? So one and two is in fact this point front and back that you can see here in the front view. So to start, all you're going to do is, 
you're going to take your front view and you're going to take the primary and just project to the sides okay and then you're going to have a bit of a gap for starting location so I'm going to say right roughly one centimeter but it can be anything as long as it will fit okay now the length you do not have to use a calculator this time all you can do is take your compass or divider and you can take one true length base side either from here in the front view or you can take it from there in the top view and you can go and mark down six of them okay all right so there you can see i've marked down the six which i took from the top view or front view and now I can actually go and do the outlines along. Okay, so now I can see I've marked it into its segments, and I'm going to use the same numbering that I used here for the top view, starting with ABC and going back to A where we cut it open. So this will also be A, B, C, and so on. Right, so one and two will actually fall between C and D. So what you can do, you can again take a divide or compass. It doesn't matter if you measure from D or from C, okay? And obviously it's symmetrical front and back. So I'm going to take the distance, let's say from D to one, and I'm going to use the same distance from D to two, okay? So just to double check. Yes, there we go. From D to one and from D to two, and I'm going to go to D here. And I'm just going to mark down the first point. And then I'm just going to swing it around and mark the other point as well. Okay. So basically you're going to get an extra point here and an extra point there. Okay. So that's the same distance from D to C and to D to E. From D to E is number two. So this would of course be number two here. And that would be the one that we had from before. And we can add that construction as well. So now we have all the lines needed. So I just go to my front view and I take the same point across. And now I have everything that I need to complete the hole. Right, so there you can actually see that we're done with the main development okay except for the label so the green there are the fold lines and they're in between dark and light it's not as dark as the outline of the hole but it's certainly darker than construction okay and we are done and now we're going to go to the branch right the branch is in fact a little bit easier than the main okay so i'm just going to go to my branch here and i'm going to project vertically straight up okay so i'm just going to draw a construction line from each from base point and the penetration points so effectively just three lines that you're going to have okay and then now of course again i'm going to start with the starting line which should be the shortest end which obviously will be there Okay, so I'm just going to start with that line and then you need to take the true length of the base side which you can take from the auxiliary. I'm just going to go there, take the same distance as before and since the base has four sides we're just going to mark down four of these. Right, so now I can actually see that I've marked down the four parts. One, two, three, four. Obviously, it's going to end on the shortest end as well. The base we can just draw nice and flat. So effectively, all that's going to happen, it's going to zigzag. So it's going to go to the maximum and down, maximum again, back in, and we're done. Right, and that's it, grade 11. So now I can see it's complete. And all you now have to go and do is call this the branch development, the main development, and you are done. Have a great day.